Welcome to my Hapkido training video, volume 6, which includes International Hapkido Federation requirements for achieving your brown belt. The techniques presented on this tape will include kicks and defense against garment holes. Now, carefully follow along as my cheap instructors, and I personally teach you these important requirements. I wish you great success in your training. Now, I would like to introduce my chief instructors, who has been trained with me for the last 21 years. They are all fifth degree black belt. On my right hand side, Eric Frisky. Next, Danny Cruz. Next, Mark Gannon. Well, this time, combination kick with front two spin back kick. It ready? Slow motion. One. In. When performing this kick, take a strong guard position, leading with your right foot. Kick with the rear leg front kick, spin, and back kick to the abdomen. Watch again carefully. Left leg front kick, spin, right leg, back kick. It's a continuous motion. Use the momentum of your front kick to step forward and then execute the back kick. Once you begin this offensive technique, do not hold back. After the front kick, you're committed to executing a exceptional back kick. Now watch the power of this combination on the kicking pad. Keep a strong balance, head up, very hard, quick spinning motion. You cannot hesitate for one second or your opponent may move in and strike you in the back. The first kick initially drives him back, opening him up for the back kick. Watch again carefully. Front kick solar plexus, spinning back kick to the chest, solar plexus area. The targets can also be the face or groin. When executing the spinning back kick, you're striking with the heel of the foot. This time, Side kick to spin back kick. Ready? Slow motion. One. Again, maintaining a strong stance and balance, you begin with the side kick. Set the kick down, immediately going to the spinning back kick. Watch again. The side kick can be directed to the knee, chest, or face area. If the first kick were to strike and make contact, you wouldn't need the follow-up kick. But you're advancing, you're offensive on the technique. You're coming at your opponent, driving him back with the side kick, and setting him up for the spinning back kick. One out of the two should definitely score. Now watch the power of this kick on the kick mitt. It's very important that you make contact in your training. You should train each day on the heavy bag to develop the speed and power of your kicking techniques. You must know what contact feels like. If you get caught in a street situation, you won't panic when making contact to the attacker's body. The kicking pads are an excellent training aid for developing speed, power, and accuracy.
Concentrate on driving through the target. This time, round out to spin back kick combination. Slow motion first. Ready? One. In this powerful Hapkido combination, you must concentrate on snapping the roundhouse back quickly. Retaining your balance, set down, spinning, back kick. This combination flows very naturally. Watch again. The roundhouse is directed to the head, set, spinning back kick to the midsection. The roundhouse makes contact with the instep and as mentioned earlier, the back kick hits with the heel of the foot. Be aggressive in your training. Concentrate on the target area. Keep your eyes on your opponent. Remember to set down and spin forward. You're driving at the target. Creating tremendous amount of force with the back kick. On the kicking pads, watch the power of the back kick as it follows the roundhouse. Concentrate on your accuracy. It's not a matter of just hitting the mitt. Hit it in the direct area of the target zone, which would be the solar plexus. The spinning back kick confuses your opponent. As you spin, he loses sight for a second, opening him up, following with the back kick. But this time, he is going to kick heel across to the face. Slow motion, go one. The spinning heel kick or hook kick is a very devastating kick which strikes with the heel of the foot, whipping around across the head area. This is a favorite kick of Grandmaster Han, which he demonstrated in the film Billy Jack. Now carefully observe the technique needed to master this important kick. The back leg comes low underneath and whips up sharply coming across with the heel of the foot. Pull your toes back and accentuate the heel as you make contact. Target areas include the chest or face area. This is a kick that takes tremendous amount of practice to master. An excellent training aid is a small hand mitt. It's about the size of the head area and makes excellent target practice. As you can see, this is a very powerful kick. Concentrate on keeping your head up and eyes on the target. Don't look at the floor as you kick. Notice how Instructor Cruz comes down in a very strong stance. Next one is when you kick here, bend down and down here to finish him up. Ready? Go. One. The axe kick is a devastating technique. It's used to follow up usually a punch to the body or kick to the body. As your opponent keels over, follow up by coming down sharply with your heel. Whip the leg up and straight down into the target area. In this situation, you're striking to the head or neck area. Whip the leg up and with all your force, bring the kick down. With your partner holding the mitt facing upward, concentrate on making contact with the heel straight down into the mitt. Concentrate on speed. Speed, 
will give you the power. You must maintain your balance after each kick. Well, next kick will be inside of arch to kick across his face. Slow motion. One of the hardest kicks to block in Hapkido is the crescent kick or half moon kick. You simply whip your leg around at the head area, striking with the inward arch of the foot. Keep your toes curled back tightly. The whipping motion generates tremendous speed and force. It's an excellent kick for in-close fighting if the opponent were to grab your lapel or wrist. It's very hard to block because it's not executed on a linear line. It's a circular movement. It's also a good sweeping technique for blocking a knife or gun. Now watch the power generated by the crescent kick. It's a fast whipping motion. Bring your leg to the outside and arch it in very quickly in a circular motion. But this time, we use knife foot to kick across the other way around. Slow motion, one. Now, probably one of the most famous kicking techniques in the world. This was made famous by Grandmaster Han in the film Billy Jack. It was in the famous fight scene in the park where Billy Jack said, I'm going to take this here foot and kick you on that side of your head. I'm sure you all remember those famous lines. Well, that kick happened to be the crescent kick of Hapkido. It's an inward, outward kick. Your right leg comes around from the inside and whips across. Now follow along as instructor Cruz demonstrates the kick on the hand mitt. It comes from the inside, out, and back in, in a circular motion. Whipping across to the face area, breaking the jaw. This is an excellent close fighting technique. Your opponent could be standing only one foot away and you can still execute this kick if you have the proper flexibility. But this time, two jump side kick combination. Rear leg jump side kick and four leg jump side kick. Slow motion, one. Okay, one more time. These are two extremely powerful kicking techniques. Your rear leg jumps forward, execute the side kick, continue your motion, skip forward, side kick number two. In quick, rapid combination. Watch carefully. Keep strong posture, your head up in a strong guard position. Keep your eye on your opponent. This kick enables you to cover a great amount of distance, at least 10 feet, when done together in combination. 
You can really go at your opponent, driving him back, going on the offense. The side kick can be executed to the knee, midsection, or face area. Now practice diligently on the kicking mitts to develop speed, power, and accuracy. Timing and distance are vital in training on the mitts. Your first kick sets up the contact kick. Before kicking full power on the mitts, do some walkthrough techniques to judge the distance of contact. First, have sweeping kick to knock him down, and then follow up with the jump side kick. Slow motion. One. The foot sweep is an excellent technique for knocking your opponent off balance. Sweep around with the arch of your foot to his lead front leg, knocking him off balance, and then driving with the side kick. An excellent street fighting self-defense combination. Now watch carefully. Short, quick, sweep, driving, side kick. The sweeping kick is very hard to detect and hard to block, which will knock him off balance if done properly. Do not telegraph your technique. Do not look down. Keep your head up, sweep, counter. Concentrate on your timing. Foot sweep, step forward, skip in, side kick. The side kick is being executed as your opponent is knocked off balance, which will add more force to your kick. Again, concentrating on the target. Do not drop your eyes. Keep your guard up. Drive. Do some practice runs to judge the distance. Try and imagine making contact on that foot sweep. Follow your combination by driving in with the jump side kick. The slow motion enables you to see the tremendous power as Instructor Cruz buckles the bag. Can you imagine getting kicked in the rib cage with this kick. Now at full speed. This is the realistic speed of a street fight. Watch carefully. He charges and doesn't hesitate. Sweep, psychic. Defense against common horse. First, color grab. I grab his hand from underneath, pull his left pull toward me, go underneath, and lock himself. As instructor Mark Gannon grabs with a reverse lapel hold, Master Han grabs his hand with his left and comes underneath reversing the grip into a wrist lock. By going underneath the attacker's right arm, Grandmaster Han gets the torque he needs to create the pain in the wrist lock. This overhead view shows it excellently. Watch carefully. Now, it's important to grab the wrist from underneath 
For support, Grandmaster Han grabs the attacker's lapel. In a continuing circular motion, he applies the wrist lock. Very simple, effective, extremely painful technique. Watch again closely. It is very important that you don't lose your cool in a self-defense situation. As the attacker makes his move, counter the attack, go underneath, securing the wrist, applying the lock. Same position here. As I grab his hand, strike solar plexus. Grab with both hands, go underneath. Lock his wrist and elbow, same time. Now this technique is very similar with a slight variation. Instead of grabbing his lapel back, Master Han strikes to the solar plexus. This will shock your opponent, help loosen his grip, then apply the wrist lock. Watch again carefully. The immediate counter is to strike the solar plexus, knock the wind out of your assailant, apply the wrist lock. Grab the wrist from underneath, direct straight punch to the solar plexus, now drop under, creating the force and centrifugal movement for the wrist lock. Watch it at full speed and power. When applying these locks, be very careful not to hurt your training partner. Well, this time, grab the thumb up. Then I attack his thumb first and break it away. Grab his wrist, twist, and throw. In this exceptional Hapkido technique, you're breaking the attacker's grip by concentrating on his thumb area. Push down on the thumb, release his grip, now follow up with your other hand, secure the wrist, step out and complete the throw. Now watch again carefully. As the attacker grabs your lapel, your immediate reaction is to concentrate on his thumb. Push down sharply on the thumb. This creates tremendous amount of pain which will release his grip. When he's in this vulnerable position, grab with your other hand and turn his wrist sharply. As you step to the side, complete the throw. Now once on the ground, apply the elbow lock. Watch again closely. 
react without hesitation. Pressure to the thumb, secure his wrist, turn the wrist as you step over. Lean heavily on his elbow with your right knee. He is completely helpless as you apply a wrist and elbow lock. Same position. As I grab his hand, punch to the solar plexus, grab his wrist, and twist his arm to throw. As your opponent grabs your lapel, secure his wrist with your left hand and then punch into the chest with your right. The punch will shock him to loosen his grip. Then with your right hand, grab his arm, step out and complete the throw. From there, bring him into an elbow lock with your knee. Unlike the prior technique, you're executing the throw by spinning his arm. So it is more an arm throw than a wrist throw. At full speed. Same place again. As he grabbed, I grabbed his wrist, then grab his thumb against him, take him all the way down. Then this Hapkido technique is certain to bring tears to your attacker's eyes. Watch carefully. As he grabs your lapel, secure his wrist with your right hand. With your left hand, pull out his thumb and push down, bringing him straight to the ground. Position his elbow on the ground and continue your pressure until he gives up. The pain is excruciating, and watch again carefully as Grandmaster Han shows you every step of this technique. As your attacker grips, secure his wrist with your left hand. Now, with your palm, push down on the thumb. This will release his grip or his thumb will break. Now, continue your momentum straight to the ground. Now react without hesitation. Watch carefully. Same place again. I 
Sai Gravis rest, strike to the sort of practice, grab his elbow from underneath and pull and take him down. Then finish. Now watch this technique carefully. As the attacker grabs your lapel, the technique is to secure his wrist, punch directly into the chest area. This will loosen the grip. Come around with your right hand, turn the elbow, follow the arm down, applying an elbow hold and ready to punch. Bring the assailant's wrist right underneath his arm and secure him to the ground. This technique requires a lot of training to perfect, so watch carefully now. As he grabs, you want to secure his hand so he cannot punch you. Strike him directly into the chest. This will loosen his grip. Come underneath, turn his arm from the elbow by spinning it upward. Keep a grip on his wrist, bring him to the ground, pushing his wrist on the pavement. Secure his arm and you're ready to punch. Grab the wrist to secure the attacker, punch, grip from underneath, spin the arm, bring him down. In this position, he is completely vulnerable and helpless. Defense against arm pad here. Lock his arm from underneath. Kick thigh. And then chin troll. In this situation, your opponent tries to grab the side of your coat or jacket. As he does, you come underneath with your right arm, locking his wrist. Execute a side kick to break the knee. Follow up. Foot sweep. Now watch again at full speed and power. This technique shows the versatility of Hapkido. It utilizes all the self-defense techniques. Now watch again as he grabs, come underneath, secure his wrist to your body. At this point, kick out to the kneecap. Now. Step forward, palm heel underneath the jaw, knock his leg out, sweep and down, and you're ready to counter. The important factor here is to secure his wrist underneath your armpit. Step back, give your leg room to kick out. Step behind, palm heel as you sweep him to the ground. Watch again at a quick speed. Defense against bell grab. Here. First, my knuckle strike. And then, bend rest it. In this situation, 
your opponent grabs your belt or coat from the front. With your left hand, you secure his wrist, and with your right knuckles, punch down into the top nerves of his hand. The pain will help release the grip. Step around, apply an arm lock. Watch again carefully. The assailant tries to grab you. If you're a woman, he might be trying to pull you into a car or whatever. Now your reaction is to grab his hand, secure it, punch down hard with your knuckles. This creates a lot of pain for the assailant. Step in, grab his arm, turn his arm, bring your knee up high, and push down on the arm. The high step will give you the leverage to take him to the ground. Watch the stepping motion and the slow motion technique. High step, over, quick turn of the arm, hold the wrist, apply the arm lock. Same place here again. Grab his hand, attack his behind elbow with my arm bar. This technique is a variation of the prior one. Watch carefully as he grabs your belt. With your left hand, secure his wrist. Step forward with the right foot and execute an arm bar across his elbow. As he moves in, he grabs. Now he may want to punch, so you must react quickly. You grab his wrist, step forward with the right foot, and as you move, bring your right arm down hard on his elbow, taking him to the ground. Now watch it at full speed. Keep your right hand open in a chop position. Same place here again. Get my hand together, break it away, and strike with my knife hand. This is an excellent technique for breaking your opponent's grip. As he grabs your belt, bring your palms together, turn to the left sharply, break his grip, come back with an open hand chop or knife hand to the throat. Notice the shoulder turn by Grandmaster Han. This is what will create the momentum to break the grip and the momentum to strike across the jaw. Turn your fingers upward. Twist the body to the left. Come back to the right. Follow through with the strike to the jaw. The circular movements are what create the force in Hapkido.
this time palm up my belt grab. I'm going to grab here, press his thumb down all the way, and then squeeze down here. This is another one of those hat keto techniques that will quickly bring tears to your opponent's eyes. As he grabs with the palm upward, secure his wrist, and with your right hand, push down on his thumb. Taking him to the ground, continue to apply pressure until he gives up. Very painful. Watch again closely. As he grabs with an upward grip, he leaves his thumb vulnerable to your attack. With your left hand, secure his wrist from the back. With your right palm, push on the thumb and keep the momentum going to the ground. Once you have the thumb, he's yours. Now watch again in slow motion, concentrate on the techniques, the sequence that they're executed. Notice the strong stance Grandmaster Han is in over the opponent. Keep your leverage directly over the thumb. Then press you again, grab from underneath, and use my knife hand to press down from top and circle around. And then pull him down, lock his elbow, shoulder. The following is a devastating Hapkido self-defense technique. As he grabs with the palm up, secure his hand with your left hand, take your right hand with it open, turn it underneath his wrist, Complete the throw. Take him down into an armbar, locking him with your foot and securing his wrist with your left hand. Watch it again carefully at full speed and power. It is the quick turn on your right arm that flips the opponent. Let's look at it carefully again. He grabs with the palm up. Hold him securely with your left hand underneath. Now, with your right hand open, come around under onto the wrist. Very painful at this point. Continue your momentum. Complete the throw. Push down hard on his wrist as you push your right hand up. Turn him into an arm bar. He's completely helpless at that point. Same phrase again. Strike to solo practice. You grab his arm from underneath, shoulder throw. This excellent technique will introduce you to the Hapkido shoulder throw.
Now let's look at each important movement carefully. As your opponent comes in with the palm up, he grabs your belt. From here, you grab his wrist with your right hand, punch into the chest. This will loosen his grip. Tuck underneath, throw him over your shoulder. When executing the throw, it is very important that you push the hips up as you drive him forward. Complete the technique by securing your assailant with an arm bar. I hope you enjoyed this lesson and remember, in order to perfect its technique, you must practice every day. Hapkido techniques are extremely lethal, so you must exercise extreme caution and control when training with your partner. And always remember, your Hapkido skills are never to be misused and are only to be applied in a self-defense situation when there is absolutely no other means of escape. I wish you great success in your training and look forward to seeing you on the next tape. Thank you.